Hey guys, today we are going to look at multiple representations of proportional relationships. We're going to practice representing proportional relationships in multiple ways. We're going to use the representation that is given to fill in the others. So let's look at this first one. They gave us a verbal description. It says a dolphin travels through water at a rate of 40 miles per hour. So when possible, I like to start with the table because it's easy for me to go from the table to the equation. And then after the table, I can just graph those ordered pairs. So let's fill out the table first. A dolphin travels through water at a rate of 40 miles per hour. So if it's traveled zero hours, that means that it's gone zero miles. And then after one hour, since it's going 40 miles per hour, it's gone 40 miles. And then after two hours, that would be 80 miles. Three hours would be 120 miles. And then four times 40, that would be 160 miles. So if you cannot already see it, the constant of variation is going to be 40. If we did y divided by x, 40 divided by one, it would be 40. And they gave us that unit rate in the verbal description too. So that means my equation is y equals kx. And then the last thing I need to do is fill out the graph. So I'm going to start by labeling the x and the y axis. The number of hours would be x and the miles traveled would be y. And then y is the number of miles traveled. I just need to fit zero to four miles on here so I can go zero, one, two, I can just count by ones. On the x axis, on the y axis, I'm going to have to count by something different because I have to fit from zero to 160. So if I, I think if I count by 20s, 60, 80, 100, 120, yes, that will fit. So I'm gonna count by 20s, but I'm just gonna mark every other one. So this would be 20, that'll be 40. And then 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, and 200. Okay, now I have my graph set up so I can plot these points. So it was 0, 0, and then after 1 hour, it had gone 40 miles. After 2 hours, it had gone 80 miles. 3 hours, 120. 4, 160. And then I am going to go ahead and connect these points with a line because the dolphin would be traveling in between these points as well. So there are all the different representations to show a dolphin traveling through water at a rate of 40 miles per hour. Okay, let's look at this second representation. They gave us a table and want us to fill out the verbal description, equation, and graph. So let's look at the table and then maybe we can find the rate of change or that constant of proportionality. It says the table shows Sarah's total earnings from working at an ice cream shop. So in zero hours, she made zero dollars. So because of this zero, zero point, I know this is going to be a proportional relationship. So that means I can do y divided by x to find the constant of proportionality. In two hours, she made $16, four, she made 32, six, she made 48, and eight hours, she made $64. So if you cannot see what that multiplicative relationship is, right away, then you can do y divided by x to figure it out. I'm gonna use this ordered pair right here, 16 over two. So the constant proportionality is eight, which makes sense. I'm multiplying the number of hours she's worked by eight. So that means the equation would be y equals eight x. And now that I know the constant of proportionality, I can fill out the verbal description as well. So we're talking about her total earnings from working at an ice cream shop. And remember, it was that multiplicative relationship. The hour she worked was two and then two times eight was 16. The hour she worked was four and then four times eight is 32. So that means that Sarah is making $8 an hour working at the ice cream shop. So the verbal description would be Sarah makes 
$8 an hour working at an ice cream shop. Okay, last thing we need to do is fill out the graph. I'm gonna say what X and Y are. X is the hours worked and then Y is the total amount made. So X is the number of hours and then Y is going to be her earnings. And the hours just go from zero to eight. So I can just count by ones on the X axis. And then the earnings, I have to fit from zero to 64 on there. She's making $8 an hour. So I'm just gonna count by eights, but I'm just gonna mark every other one. So this would be eight, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, and 64. And now I can plot the ordered pairs from the table. So it would be 0, 0, 2, 16, 4, 32, 6, 48, and 8, 64.